Hi everyone, this is Vince. I'm an applications engineer with Hawkridge Systems and today I'm going to show you one of the great features in SolidWorks 2015 and that's the chain component pattern. So within an assembly we can pattern this component around this belt drive path sketch and I'm going to create a complete belt from this mount base. So right under here, under this component, we have chain component pattern right here. Turn that on and that takes me into the property manager for this feature. The first method or pitch method here is this distance one. So I'm going to go ahead and start this one. I need a chain path. Now in previous version of SolidWorks I'd have to right click here and go into the selection manager if I wanted to use it but in this case I have the selection manager button right here. Just turn that on. And now you can see I have select closed loop in because I want to make sure I get this whole sketch here. And hit that, hit the green check, and now I have that whole closed loop for my path. Now I can fill in the instances of the pattern. In this case, I want 10. And now it takes me to the chain group selection. And this is the component I want to pattern around. So I'm going to click this mounted boss here and now it's asking for a path link and it's asking for a single path link because it's just meant for one single link pattern around. This is the path alignment plane. This is what aligns the actual component to the uh, belt drive sketch here. So I'm going to open up this mounted base and I'm going to choose this right plane. Now you can see from the preview that I have the pattern going around the path but it's not quite the orientation. It's not following the path and that's because SolidWorks is treating it as that single link. But because I have two pieces of linkage I'm going to actually turn on the distance linkage option right here in the middle. So I turn that on and it's taking me through the same option so I already have my path and the instances already filled out I have the component in here and now I'm going to make sure I follow these diagrams to select the right path link so this one's asking for the left and this is asking for the right I'm going to use these two cylindrical faces here I still have that path alignment plane here and now you can see that SOLIDWORKS has patterned it around in the correct orientation. I can change the distance between the, each instance just like that or I can hit this equal spacing button and it automatically equally spaces everything around that sketch for me. Now take a look at these options down here. I've got two options dynamic and static. In this case I'm going to have dynamic on. Hit the green check and now it created that pattern for me. Now I can actually click on any component in the chain pattern and I can move the whole pattern around so really quick and easily made that belt drive uh, from that mount base. Now I'm going to go in and show you the third option in your chain component pattern. So I'm going to open up a new assembly and I have a chain path and two links. Go into the chain component pattern again. Asking for the chain path Again, go in the selection manager, get that sketch, and hit the green check. Now, instead of putting in the number of instances, I'm actually going to just turn on this fill path here. And that's actually going to allow SOLIDWORKS to fill all the components within the pattern. Uh, I'm sorry, all the, it's going to pattern all the components around the sketch and fill it in completely. So in this case, I have make sure I turn on this last option which is the connected linkage and now I have two components here so I'm going to have a chain group one and a chain group two. Basically go through the same steps as the other pattern. Pick your two path links and the path alignment plane. And you can see right here from the the preview SOLIDWORKS has completely filled in that component around that sketch for me. Second chain group, I'm going to select the second piece and those two cylindrical face for the path link and the alignment plane. Now I get the second piece. Now under the options I'm going to change it from dynamic to static just to show the difference here. 
So you can see here, SolidWorks has completely closed that chain link for me. So I have a belt chain here, uh, I'm sorry, a bicycle chain. And if I now, if I try to click on any component in the pattern, it won't let me do it. So I actually have to go back to the pattern, turn on the preview, and now I can see that the pink is the seed. So if I click any of the seeds, SolidWorks will allow me to now move that chain. So that's the chain component pattern feature on new in SolidWorks 2015. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.